Okay, let's take a look at LastPass. I've reviewed this in the past and I'm bringing it up to date because they've given the LastPass a facelift, added some more features, and just overall polished it up quite a bit. They still do not know your master password, so they are still one of the safest, most secure password management systems out there. Now, passwords should not be remembered, they should be managed. That is the best way to describe it. There's just too many logins, too many websites that I have. I could not remember all the passwords and using the same password across all of them well, that's just not reasonable, rational, and as websites get compromised, if you're using the same password on more than one website, when one website gets passed, compromised, they are going to usually have all of your passwords. LastPass solves that by generating unique passwords for all of your different websites. It's a browser plugin that starts out as a free plugin, but if you want some of the advanced features such as unlimited device sync and sharing your passwords with other people, uh, such as I do in my business, you may want to go for the $12 a year. That's right dollar a month, pretty inexpensive. I have no problem paying them. They're very worth it. It's probably very few things I've paid for that I say, wow, I, I wouldn't have any problem paying double, but LastPass, if you're listening, don't charge me double. So just take a look at LastPass in action. We're going to sign in LastPass and you go here and it shows up as three dots right here. So we're going to go ahead and I'll put in my master password. And when you set up your master password phrase, you should set up something really long, a sentence, not just a password. So as you type this in, you're thinking, okay, I want to make sure it's something easy for me to remember a phrase or a sentence you know I like going on vacation whatever it is maybe somewhere where you met uh, but type in a whole sentence for this having it really long very much helps now LastPass does have a forgot password option and then there are some hints as to what your phrase is that you set up in the beginning when you're signing up for an account that's all they can give you. They cannot retrieve your password because they don't know it. They designed the company this way, that way no government body, nor hacker, or anyone could ever compel LastPass to share their password or share your password with someone else. So once you set up your master password phrase, if you forget it and your password hints don't help you, you will simply have to set up a new LastPass account. There's nothing they can do to fix it. So let's start out with typing in my master password so we can activate the plugin. Once I'm logged in, you can see that it's got the three dots are now red. And when you see the three dots here, things come up. So we can generate a new password, we can fill a form, and we're gonna do that. And then I have two different form fills set up, which I'll show you later. So I have one for my office and one for my personal. So let's go to my office one. And now what it's asking me here is, I've logged in to activate the plugin because I had forcibly logged it out. And now I can say, don't prompt me for my password for whatever number of hours. I'm going to have this set here. I can say 30 seconds, 60 seconds, so on and so forth. I usually have it six hours when I set it, and then after six hours, it's going to pop up and remind me again that I need to log in. All right, now it's automatically filled in this website for me with my business information. Now let's generate a password. As you can see, it's going to come up with, every time I hit this, random. Now you control the length, and some websites let you put longer or shorter passwords in, uh, the more the better. So it's gonna come up with this, and you can check which characters you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of them in here. And as you can see, it's gonna come up with different random passwords. If there's one you like better, here's a quick history of them. Uh, you can choose one. It doesn't really matter, as long as it has a random password for each one. Now the make pronounceable in lowercase, I use that sometimes, because when I'm typing passwords that I gotta put in here that I'm gonna have to repeat on my phone, I go ahead and use a password that's all lowercase, easier to type in a password on my phone if you're not using LastPass on your phone. So you hit use password and it's going to ask me and I just, this is an internal site I created for the demo. So it usually has a website name and you hit save site. So you don't really have to remember what password you're using to create. And then it logs in and creates this. Now let's take a look at the vault. Go here, we're going to jump to the LastPass vault. Now you can see all the different websites and it says I generated one. Even though I told it not to save it, it still says it's generated here. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and it double checks and confirms on this. Close it real quick. Before we do that, we can click on the wrench and we can see the password it created. And because I didn't have a username field, it just leaves that blank. So go ahead and delete this. Now for other sites like Amazon, you have a launch button, you have the tool, you have the sharing button. Now the sharing is pretty neat. This is where I share my account with other people. Uh, they have to have LastPass, but they do not have to have the premium version of LastPass. So I can sell, I can share this with people, put them in there. If they're not signed up for LastPass, I can actually send them a link to automatically sign up, and they have to create their own LastPass account. But this is really nice if you want to share your business account with someone and be able to say, okay, I want uh, these people to have access to the account so they can easily use it. You just go in here to LastPass, add them to the sharing, and it automatically shares with them. That also means when you change a password, if I change my Amazon password, it changes it for them. 
So it has my main login for my Amazon account, and it has the site here. I can add any notes on there. Uh, sites like Amazon and a few others have have common forms. LastPass looks at common forms and has the option to auto change the password. And what auto change passwords means is automatically go to the website, fill in the old, fill in, a, create the new password, and do it completely without even you having to go there. Really nice feature if you if they send you a notice and the site supports it. Um, even if the site doesn't support it, when you go to a change password form on any website, LastPass will automatically fill in your previous password and can generate a new password and automatically update it. It also keeps a password history for each time you change the password on the site. So Amazon went through a change where I had a password in 2013 and I changed it again in 2015. So and if you click this, you can view my previous old passwords. And don't say show all or hide all. Um, if you have multiple logins for one site, you know, let's use Google for an example. For each one of the Google sites I have, I have a automatic login. So if you have multiple logins for multiple accounts, you can save them all within your LastPass. This is another spot where you can click secure notes in general. Let's say your Wi-Fi passwords or different things you need to keep notes on that you want synced between your browsers, you want kept secure, uh, but it doesn't really have a website associated with it. For the form fills, I have my office in here and my personal. So we're just going to edit the office one. So I got personal, address, contact info, and it auto fills all these out and can put it in there. I also have my credit card and bank account accounts in here. And by doing this, it allows me to automatically fill in, let's say Verizon when I got to make a payment or Comcast. I don't have to put my credit card in each time or type it in. They can autofill it. And if you don't want, and I don't really want a lot of these websites to save my credit card, I can have it filled in every time I go. So it's automatically filling in my birthday, my uh, all the general information. And you can create multiple identities here. You can create as many as you want. You just hit plus. I create an identity name and fill it out. And I can use those identities on all the form fills. Sharing Center. If you don't remember who all you shared everything with, that's where LastPass can go here. And instead of clicking on each individual account, it can go through and just show all the different shares and search and find them. Emergency access. This is pretty cool. This is the digital life after death, as I call it. And what this sets up is a challenge response. So when I add someone to the security, I can, if I don't log in, and let's say something happens to me, they can go and request access to my LastPass account. And this is how long it should wait before they give access, before LastPass gives them access. And during that wait period, from the time they send the request, I have however many days, in this case three, to tell them, no, don't do it. So as long as I'm alive, if they do send a request, I can say no, but if I'm dead and I'm not logging in, I can't stop it. And after three days, they automatically get my LastPass login information. This is pretty cool and it has people I trust or people who trust me in case someone delegates this to you. Now LastPass supports a lot of different multi-factor multi authentication options. Uh, these are all pretty cool if you want to go another level of security besides your password where you can use Duo Security, you can use uh, Twofer, Google Authenticate, and they also have a grid which is a printable number and letter sheet that you can print and keep at your office and keep at home where it asks you a password and then it asks you questions based on the grid that they generate for you. Um, and then you can also then set up trusted devices that don't need any logins at all. I'm going to quickly show you LastPass in action. Let's go to my Monoprice account. So I go to my account and I'm not logged in. And I actually have two logins for them. That was something I created. I never got around to deleting. I hit sign in. It fills in all the forms. If I have to, let's say, edit a shipping address, if I wanted to fill it out again, it fills it out. It also does these pull downs. So instead of having to sort through any of this, it automatically fills in the pull down options and away you go. Pretty straightforward. Uh, LastPass is a great tool. And the free version is enough to get you started. It works great. If you want some of those advanced like sharing and synchronization, pay them a $12 a year. To me, it's a really reasonable price. If you have any questions about LastPass, feel free to message me. If you have any suggestions or something I got wrong, let me know. Thank you.